We're going to intentionally talk about overcoming things in our life. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. So whatever is in the world, whatever you and I will face in the world, could be challenges, it could be troubles, it could be difficulties, including fear, which we're going to address specifically. Fear is something all of us have faced. Maybe some of us are facing. And we battle with this. Fear is an emotion that is induced by a perceived danger or threat. This fear also, of course, uh, causes physical or biochemical changes uh, in our body. And sometimes it also affects our behavior. Consistent fear can affect our our behavior, how we face life and, and, and the kind of person we become all influenced because of fear. The Bible also tells us that there is a spirit of fear. That means there is a demon, an evil spirit that induces fear. There are many, many, many different kinds of fears, different kinds of things that cause fear in people's lives. There's a fear of change. Uh, we don't like change. So if you have to, if change is in front, you say, hmm, I'm comfortable with what I'm doing. I have now. I don't want to change. Fear of commitment. Uh, we are afraid to make a commitment. There's a fear of loneliness. Uh, and so people are afraid to be alone. And because of that, they stay in relationships with people that uh, sometimes are unhealthy or are not good for them because of fear of being alone. And, and there are other things like fear of heights, fear of closed places, there's a fear of failure. Fear of rejection, there's a fear of the unknown, the fear of disaster, or sometimes there's a fear based on past experiences. Uh, and, you know, you've gone through, people have maybe betrayed you, so you don't want to trust people, or people have hurt you, so you don't want to, you know, you're very watchful. So it could be fear based on past experiences. What's interesting is that sometimes our fears can be totally unfounded. There's absolutely nothing behind it. It's like you're afraid of the shadow. Woo, there's something there. Hey, it's just a shadow. <laughs> It's like there's unfound, completely unfounded. Uh, but yet, that fear could be so real to the person ex you know, experiencing that emotion. Although a, an outsider looking at it says, hey, there's nothing to it. But the person experiencing that emotional fear can be so affected, even though it's unfounded. How does fear affect us? And we just want to cover some ground. Fear enslaves. It paralyzes, it cripples us. So look at what the scripture says, Proverbs 29, verse 25. The Bible says, the fear of man brings a snare or puts us into a trap. But whoever trusts in the Lord shall be safe. Fear also demoralizes and robs destiny. So many people are kept away from moving into things that you know, that, 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 that's really meant for them. That's the place they should be. That's where, that's the next level for them. But they, they're robbed of their destiny because of this thing called fear. Fear attracts the negative. Job said this in Job 3 verse 25. He said, for the thing I greatly fear has come upon me. And what I dreaded has happened to me. So Job is confessing. Look, I, I had this fear. I dreaded that this is going to happen to me. And sure it happened. This fear. Fear is like faith. Except it's in the wrong direction. Number four. Fear robs us of our faith in God. And lastly. Fear like faith is contagious. For God has not given us a spirit of fear. But of power and of love and of a sound mind. The wicked flee when no one pursues. But the righteous are bold as a lion. You don't have to be crippled, paralyzed by fear. Whatever fear has been holding you back from stepping into your destiny. We believe God will set you free.